I started doing this in 1996. The prairie dogs behind my home that were going to be killed for a um, huge project, 200 acre project. What we're looking for in the bubbles is a movement that's up and down like this because that would indicate a prairie dog down in the suds working its way to the top. When they come up, they'll create a little head to come through. But you can see it's, it's really soapy and there's lots of air in there. Uh, so they can breathe. I was not able to save the 200 acres of prairie dogs behind my house. That's a karma. I was able to save 35 acres of it, which is better than nothing. But at the same time, I had sat there for two years studying that colony. Oh, it's another boy. It was hard to watch them be poisoned. These little prints right here are their nose prints where they peck that after a good rain or something to help shore up all of this and create this burrow. I'm a little pup. I'm a little girl. This relocation was a tough one. It took over a year of begging, <laughs> pleading, uh, negotiating, <laughs> and making uh, different appeals to different government entities. I do this because I believe every animal deserves a chance. I mean, they're just trying to live their lives and, you know, have their families and the same things we are. Well, it's not much different. The animals that we have saved, uh, we've made a difference even if it's one animal. I'm happy to have done it. I, I would do it again.